All right, guys, what's going on? I'm just going to do a quick video about waivers and my personal outtake on recruiters in the Air Force and a personal story. So waivers, you can get a waiver for, um, let's say, like you have some issue, some health issue, like you're missing a testicle. Uh, let's say um, you're missing like a, like a nub of your finger. Let's say you, you're like color deficient whatever like you can get a waiver for pretty much everything it just depends on if that recruiter is willing to work with you so i've had somebody in the past i'm not making this up i'm not talking crap on anybody but i've had somebody in the past that has had a like some kind of charge with marijuana it's just some kind of like possession charge or something like that he called a recruiter that recruiter told him there is no way in hell he will ever join the air force i told him to call another one and he said, yeah, let's, let's get this paperwork started. Let's see what we can do for you. So if, you, if you're having issues, if, if you talk to a recruiter and they say there's no way you're going to be able to join because you have like a misdemeanor, uh, felony, whatever. Felonies are pretty big, but if you have a misdemeanor or whatever, um, if they say no, go talk to another one. What, what, what's the worst they're going to say? No to? But, I mean, that, that's, that's a pretty good tale to take. Make sure you spread that with a lot of your friends. If you have one recruiter that says no, go ask another Air Force recruiter and they might say yes. Reason being is because Air Force recruiters are human beings. Some human beings are going the extra mile to help people. Some human beings are just in it for themselves and they don't feel like doing the extra paperwork. So um, that's pretty much it whenever it comes to waivers. So if one recruiter says no, go ask another one. If like if you get to the point where you're calling like 10, 15 recruiters a day and they're all saying no, then you, you might want to try to like like go to another branch. Another branch might accept it. Like it just depends on who you know. Like it's not about what you know, it's about who you know and what they're gonna do for you. So that's the waiver portion. Now I wanna get into you guys about a personal story that happened to me. So I joined with a waiver, it was a moral waiver which was for a petty theft incident whenever I was 13. Uh, basically stole a couple t-shirts from Ahibit Sports. That's the tale of the take right there. But I talked to my recruiter. She's a really good girl. She helped me with a lot of stuff. She got my waiver process up and up the chain in no time. So I joined with that waiver. So since I joined the certain jobs like security forces, I was already disqualified for because their SJC was F. And my SJC was lowered to B. Don't quote me on that. I, my security job clearance was lowered. I don't know like if I'm getting the letters right, but I think I am. So security forces require a higher security clearance, so you had to have an F to do that. Mine was B. Mental health is B. Mental health is also open general. I was at basic training. I took the 600 questionnaire 600 question questionnaire for mental health right since I came in open general and I basically did that went up to the captain of the mental health AFSC down there at Lackland and he talked to me perfectly qualified for the job I like I mean perfectly qualified nothing holding me back and he said that since I had that waiver that I wasn't going to be allowed to do it so it's not about what you know, it's about who you know and if they like you or not. So that's how waivers work. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Always happy to answer your guys' questions, get you guys rolling through the military. Um, if you have any more like video suggestions, like a four versus six year contract or sign on bonuses or open aptitude areas, feel free to leave those questions down in the comment section below. I'm gonna get back to every single question, always do. Um, that's pretty much it guys. If you think this video will help anybody else, feel free to share it to them because I know like if I was joining the military and I saw this video, like just a straight up five minute video that explains waivers, it would save so much time. It would cut that learning curve in half. But anyways, guys, you take it easy. I'll see you in the next one. Like the video if this helped you out. Peace.